Vandals, theft, and some disturbing trash left behind as parents concerned for their kids' safety at a local baseball field. News 13's Lizzie Mitri looks into the problem. It's a team effort for Rio Grande High School baseball. Even when it comes to cleanup and repairs. That's how Jerry Lopez, father of two players in the program, found this in an area where students practice. Let's say a ball rolls and a kid goes and picks up the ball next to the needle. It was uncapped. The needle was exposed. Aside from that danger. One, one. He says the field has attracted thieves and vandals because there used to be fencing to fully enclose their batting cages and equipment. The first thing that we had was our water jug stolen, $100 water jug. It was brand new. Now the count is up to two stolen water jugs, two stolen trash cans, and this one was melted. Lots of damaged safety netting. We found that the entire batting cages, both sides, were down on the ground and all the holes that you see were eye patched. Lovato says he and his son spent eight hours fixing the net here, but then holes like this just keep popping up. It's frustrating. It makes me angry that we're not getting any help. The Albuquerque Metropolitan Arroyo Flood Control Authority, or AMAFCA, has been working on a large flood reduction project that borders the field, and the executive engineer says APS agreed to remove some fencing for the work. The, one of the reasons APS wanted to remove all the fencing was because they wanted to keep that fencing in the gates for their use. But he says AMAFCA's work shouldn't have affected the fence over here. I'm not sure why that section of fence was removed. APS says yes, the fence was removed a couple years ago, but as for when or if it'll go back up, they would only say there's a meeting open to parents next week to discuss that. Liz Amitri, KRQE News 13. Parents say they've been helping to repair the old damaged equipment to avoid using fundraising money that students collected to pay for things like uniforms.